Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura of Laura Plans It, and today I am planning for the first week of June 2020 in my Erin Condren Hourly Planner. Okay guys, this week I am planning the first week of June and the last month in my 2019-2020 planner from Erin Condren. And I'm using a kit that I actually used back in April. I bought a second one because I loved it so much. And it's the kit that I used during launch week. So I did not make a video of my plan with me. I did not share a whole bunch about it. And I just, I loved this kit so much that I ended up buying a second one just in case. And we will be spending next week in quarantine still, even though the state is starting to open up. I think we're in phase one next week. Um, just to be safe and to take our time, we have nowhere we need to go, so we're going to try to stay home a little bit longer. So something that shows staying home and reading and, you know, lounging and being lazy, <laughs> I think it's kind of perfect for us. I have bookmarked in here the spread I did a few weeks ago. I'm not going to peek at it right now. I just put the, I went in, put the paper clip, and then walked, you know, closed it back up again. I'm going to try to just plan it however I feel like planning it and see how similar it comes out to a couple weeks ago. I don't have a whole lot going on. We have extra music lessons. We're doing makeup lessons. But other than that, I think everything is pretty much status quo. So let's go ahead and get started. When I'm finished, I'll come back and walk you through everything that I've done.
here's my spread for the week and it is pretty basic primarily because it's now officially summer vacation for us so we don't have a lot going on we still do music we still do therapy but that's kind of it we won't be doing play dates at this moment but i'm hoping that that kind of clears up soon we're not going on vacations yet but again hoping that that doesn't last much longer but what i did is i put in our appointments first and as i said there's not that many there i put in a little box to cover the, the box that says june because i don't need that it says june right here and i've highlighted the week that we're in I added some trackers. I, I'm not being very good about remembering to do to take care of my garden. Well, I take care of it. I go out and I check it every day and I water it every day, but I'm not doing anything with it. So I do need to do some pruning back and take some pictures and journal about it, which is the other thing I haven't been doing as much as I'd like to. So I put that in here. I put in a checkbox for things that I need to get done during the week. It's not going to be much because we are really, it's summer. We're just kind of hanging out, which is great. Most of the things that I have to do are social media related and I have a separate checklist system for that, which I will eventually go over once I've got it really where I want it to be, but I keep changing it, so I'm not ready to share yet. I know, I get that question a lot, that's why I'm saying that. But after I did that and I put in my bottom washi here, I kind of just left it. I really didn't do too, too much here. Only other thing I didn't put in was my weekend bar. And I think I'm gonna put this right at the top this week. I don't ever seem to do that, but I just feel like that would be a kind of cute idea, a little banner right at the top of the planner. So there we go, weekend bar. I have a lot of white space, but this is also my husband's off week, which is the other thing I didn't write on here. Y'all, my brain is so fried from just everything. So that and I have terrible allergies. I've not been able to like breathe all week because of it. So this is my husband's off week this week for work they are still doing every other week at this moment so because he's going to be off i really don't know what that means for our activities our schedule whatever i don't know if they'll call him in and he'll have to go in for any number of days oh, that didn't work so those are the things that this is guys this is why i don't plan and talk at the same time because i have no idea what i'm doing those are the things that are kind of up in the air and because they're up in the air they leave my schedule up in the air so i like to leave this as open as possible and I will add things in throughout the week if we do things if we don't it'll stay as empty as it is so I also added in our laundry and cleaning chores for the week I try not to do anything on the weekends because that's my family time typically anyways of course all next week will be family time because of our new normal schedule but I decided to add in my five days a week the blue here has laundry and I think that's smoke blue these are, I use mild liners for this, really simple. So this one is smoke blue, and I'm using that to mark what our laundry is for that day. And then I use the gold color to mark, which is actually, honestly, my favorite of the, of the mild liners. I know it's not teal, it's yellow, but it's my favorite of the mild liners. I use that to mark my um, chores for that day. So bathrooms, dusting, vacuuming, and mopping, um, making sure all of our sheets get done and all of our towels get done. So I put that in as well. And, and just to see if I like it or not, I love to play around with the planner. I don't want to be repetitive and do the same thing every week unless it's something that works. And if it doesn't work for me, I want to change it. So I want to see if this works. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, we'll put it somewhere else. All that stuff's usually in my petite daily anyways, but because we're not going anywhere or doing a whole lot, my petite daily is kind of becoming more of a social media thing. So I'm not putting my chores in it as much as I should, which means I'm not doing my chores as much as I should. So here, it's in my life planner now. Let's see how that works. Other than that, I've kind of left it blank. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I used the same kit back in April for, oh look, I opened up right to it. This happened to be launch week that I, or like preview week. So I was making videos and doing things for Erin Condren. I didn't do a recording of my plan with me at all. So this is what it looked like that week. And it was, obviously I had a lot more going on. I put the date circles in. I didn't want to do that this week. That was, that was so long ago. And I just kind of wanted to, to play and see the differences. So I have the banner, I, I put these in completely different than I put it in this week. I have, obviously this was filled in after the fact too. So there's a lot extra in here as well. I put in the exact same sticker for the top, which is kind of funny because I when I put this in, I'm like, oh, I hope it's not the same one. I, I would never use that one twice. Apparently I would. So <laughs> I use the same sticker for the top. I didn't do the date dots. I flipped this upside down. My weekend banner's at the top instead of the bottom. 
I will probably go through and add meals throughout the week if I think about it. But, I mean, you can see it's definitely different. I mean, I kept the calendar. There's so much more that went on that week. It was a really busy week. So this is how I set it up. Again, as the week goes on, I will add more. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, I'll take the stickers. I will put them in the back pocket here, which I've already taken out this current week stickers, but I'll put these in the back pocket here so that if I take my life planner downstairs or if we go on a drive somewhere or if I, I mean, I didn't, I don't think I'm going to have to this week, but if I have to take anybody to a vet appointment or doctor's appointment, I'll, I'll be prepared if I need to add something in and I can't make it to my planning space. So I hope that you like this video. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button. If you'd like to see more Plan With Me videos in my Erin Condren Hourly Planner, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to tap that bell. That turns on notifications so you're always alerted when a new video comes out. And as always, for behind the scenes, sneak peeks, and what I'm doing right now, head on over to my Instagram, at Laura Plans It. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>